So recently there has been some news of Tesla, Amazon and Google going into stock split. In this video we will see what basically is a stock split and why do companies do it along with some data of historical stock splits as well as the upcoming splits and when to buy and sell them. Before knowing the what and the why, let's dive into the basics first. Let's say this is a company named Footwear which sells shoes and it is listed on NYSE for $10 a share. Suddenly there is a huge demand for the shoes and the company produces mind blowing quarterly results. Results. So after looking at those results, people start buying and holding the stock of this company. And as a result, the price of this stock increases to $1,000. But now after looking at such high prices of $1,000, the retail investors like you and me start thinking that it has already increased a lot and it is very expensive to buy one stock for $1,000. So the result is that we just keep on holding what we have and we do not buy any new stocks. This is why the stock's price remains stagnant around $1,000 and it does not go up up from there but the company should always keep on growing right so in every public company there is a group of people called as the board of directors this group is the governing body of the company and are elected through voting by the shareholders the main job of this people is to oversee the management and set a strategy for the company if you know about the story of steve jobs this were the people in apple who fired steve jobs from his own company if you want to know more about that inspirational story let me know in the comment section below and i will make a a video on that. Anyways, let's get back to our topic now. The board of directors sees the shares of each price very high and there is no new money flowing into the stocks. So in the quarterly meetings, the board of directors have a discussion and they decide to do a 1 is to 5 stock split after the approval from the present stockholders. That means if a person is holding one stock of footwear company which was valued at $1000, now he'll be getting 4 more stocks which will make a total of 5 stocks and the value of each stock will be $200. That means there is no change in the value but just the number of shares increased which in turn reduced the price of each share. So now because of affordable price, again the retail investors started buying the stock as it always feels good to earn more quantities of what you like. This is the psychology of investing. This new money flowing into the company helps it grow and this is the main reason why companies decide to do stock splits. For understanding this concept better, let's take some real historical examples of stock splits like Apple and Tesla and let's see what happened to the prices before and after their announcements of splits. This will give us an idea of when to invest our money during the stock split and when to exit. Let's have a look at Apple first. Apple is no stranger when it comes to splitting its shares. There has been 5 stock splits of Apple till date and we will see what happened to the price before and after each split. If you would have bought 100 shares of Apple in 1986, you would have around 22,400 shares of Apple today. The recent stock split of Apple was in the year 2020 and the ratio of split was 4 for 1. After the stock split announcement date until the split happened there was a 40% increase in the price and in the next 18 days after the split the price came down by 20%. The fourth stock split was in the year 2014 and the ratio of split was 7 for 1. After the announcement date until the split happened there was a 23% increase in price and the price did not come down. It just went on increasing for the next couple of months. For the third stock split in the year 2005, the ratio was 2 for 1. After the announcement date until the split happened, there was a 10% increase in price and then the price came down to the same level as before within the next 30 days. For the second stock split of Apple in the year 2000, the ratio was 2 for 1. After the announcement date until the split happened, there was a 3% decrease in the price due to target miss in the quarterly results. And after the split, there was a further 20% decline in price. But after going through some articles, I got to know that people were not trusting the tech companies then as they do now. And I believe that would be the reason for this price decline. And for the first stock split which took place in the year 1987, the ratio ratio was 2 for 1 and there is no information available on the internet of that stock split. You can see from the recent two stock splits, Apple is trying to keep the average share price around $100 and it is increasing every time. This is a very good sign and you should keep on buying and holding Apple stock forever. Now let's look at Tesla. Tesla just had one stock split till date which was in the year 2020 and the ratio of split was 4 for 1. After the stock split announcement date until the split happened, there was a 82 
32% increase in the price and in next 8 days the price came down by 34%. If you would have bought one stock of Tesla in January of 2020 at $200, you would have 5 stocks of Tesla worth $5000 right now. Similarly as Apple, Amazon is no stranger to splitting its shares. There has been 3 stock splits of Amazon till date but all of them has been before the year 2000. Third stock split of Amazon was in September 1999. The ratio was 2 for 1. After the stock split announcement date, until the split happened, there was a 5% decrease in the price and after the split, there was a 23% increase in the price. The second stock split was in January 1999. Ratio was 3 for 1. After the stock split announcement date, until the split happened, there was a 131% increase in the price and after the split, there was a 10% decrease in the price. The first stock split was in 1998. Ratio was again 2 for 1. After the stock split announcement date, until the split happened, there was a 5% increase in price and after the split, there was a 160% increase in price. The history tells us that most of the time, stock prices tends to rise after the announcement of the stock split until the actual date of the stock split and then after the actual split happens, the price drops within a month. This gives us the insight of the psychology of the investors and this proves that people tend to buy the stocks when the stock split is announced by the company and sell the stocks immediately after the split date. So let's look at the companies which has announced stock splits recently. Google's board of directors announced its stock split on 1st February 2022 for a 20 to 1 ratio. That means if you have one stock of Google which is worth 2500 right now, you will be getting 19 more stocks and the price of each will be $125. Before the announcement, Google was trading at $2750 per share. Till now it has increased up to $2960 per share and present Presently, the stock price is at $2,547. For Google stock split, these are some of the important key dates to remember. Each shareholder owning a Google stock before the close of business on 1st July 2022 will be receiving 19 more additional shares for each share that they are holding. They will automatically receive these shares in their account on 15th July. Similarly, Amazon announces stock split on 9th March 2022 for a 20 is to 1 ratio. That means if you have one stock of Amazon which is worth $3000 right now, you will be getting 19 more stocks of Amazon and the price of each will be $140. Before the announcement, Amazon was trading at $2785 per share. Till now, it has increased up till $3386 per share and presently the price is at $3000. These are some of the important dates to remember for Amazon stocks. Each shareholder owning an Amazon stock before the close of business day on 27th May will be receiving 19 more additional shares for each share that they are holding. They will automatically receive these shares in their account on or about June 3rd. On 28th March, Tesla company also tweeted that it plans to take an approval of shareholders at an upcoming annual shareholders meeting to increase its number of authorized shares so that it can split the stock. More details are to be announced in the upcoming proxy statement from the company. As soon as the news was announced, Tesla stock increased from $766 to $1145. At present, one Tesla stock is trading at $990 each. These are my thoughts on stock splits. As soon as as the company announces the splits, they tend to go up till the split date and after the split they tend to come down. So I would be buying the news and selling after the split and again as the stock goes down after the split, I would buy in again and wait for the stocks to go up after the split. Also all the above mentioned stocks are pretty good stocks and I would be focusing mainly on Tesla as there is a lot of hype around Tesla stock and the hype is what increases the price. Alright guys, these are my entry and exit strategies on stock splits. If you want to know more about the investing strategies, penny stocks and the basics of crypto, stay tuned because I promise you will be learning a lot from the upcoming videos that I will be posting. So subscribe and stay tuned. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.